Hello everyone, Space Jelly here. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Toy Biz Marvel Legends Apocalypse Series Maestro. Now, this figure is really old. And because of that, you have to give it some leeway in terms of uh, decisions they made and some of the quality control issues. It is a really old figure. And... Hasbro also made their own, but this is actually based on a different comic appearance on Maestro Hulk. And I think it's slightly better in different ways. So, we're going to talk about it. First, we got to measure it. So, let me get my ruler. He stands. Uh, he's a bit posed right now. He stands at about seven and a half inches maybe if we uh, ignore the helmet stands at about 19 centimeters we're also going to do some uh, comparisons to some next to the Hasbro Marvel Legends Iron Man the 25th anniversary Iron Man I think 20th or 25th Sorry. Retro series Hercules. I think he's a okay size. Although figures have gotten a bit taller as the years went on. So he's not perfect. The Marvel Legends. Hasbro Marvel Legends. Scarlet Spider Man. He's okay. DC Multiverse Azrael Batman, not to scale, Azrael is slightly taller. The Mortal Kombat, McFarlane Toys Mortal Kombat 11 Spawn, Spawn slightly shorter. And the, sorry, and the Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man. I think that's okay. For accessories, he doesn't come with really anything. He just comes with his crown, and he also comes with this comic book. So, not really much in the way of accessories, but I think he has enough. We'll talk about the articulation now. He has a hinge joint on his head. I think it's connected to a ball peg. He can look down pretty decently, which is good for bigger characters. He can look up pretty good. The beard isn't painted, though. Underneath. He doesn't really tilt much, but he does rotate. And he also has this cut in his neck, which looks like it's supposed to move, but it's pretty stuck. Or if it does move, it's not moving on my one. He has these uh, very odd back joints. They don't really do anything and they're not, they don't really stay in place at all. But they're uh, specifically meant for extending his lats. So it's a little weird. But you know, old Toy Biz would do stuff like this. He has rotation in his arms, a ball hinge. Goes out, pretty okay. Bicep swivels, has really big arms, single jointed elbows to actually get pretty good range for a super big arm like he does. Rotation at his wrists and he has a hinge and he also has finger joints. Toy Biz used to do this all the time. Both of the hands are different. He has a diaphragm cut, but my one is in half, and it's like broken. It's being held on by tape right now, so I'm going to guess you can move that a little bit, but it doesn't work on mine. His legs are really weird. I think they're just ball hinges again, but
but they don't really move forward all that much. They kind of move back, kind of move out. Rotation at the thigh. Yeah. His skirt piece is a softer piece. He can bend his knees, double jointed. Ankles go up, go down. He does have the old school ankle rocker that they used to do. And a toe joint. So, ultimately with this old Maestro Hulk figure, it's not really bad at all. The only issue I can really see people having is his scale. But I still think you can fudge it in with a few figures. And the painted detail and sculpted detail on him is leagues better than any Hasbro Marvel Legends right now. He looks much more organic and he looks like he had much more love put into him than all the other Hasbro Marvel Legends figures. Especially their own version of the Maestro Hulk. So yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing if you did. Please like, share, comment, and all feedback is welcome, good or negative. So yeah, see ya. Thank <laughs> you.